Soil degradation and erosion are among the main challenges African farmers are facing nowadays. Throughout the continent, the loss of soil fertility due to a lack of suited agricultural management techniques has had a negative impact on yields, leading to social, economic and environmental challenges. Realising mineral fertilisers alone cannot fix the problem, many farmers have turned to compost and animal manure to enrich their soils. However, despite the awareness of this problem never having been higher, there is a long way to go to begin restoring the soil fertility farmers' livelihoods depend on. When designing agricultural research projects, the experience, knowledge and approaches of farmers need to be integrated with scientists. The Home for Soil project seeks to unite these skills, experience, knowledge to, of farmers to that of scientists and extensionists. The project is going to provide insight on soil fertility management and also technologies that can easily be adopted. We went to two communities of our project countries in Mali and Ghana and here are what farmers have to say about the fertility status on their field. In earlier times, the fields were richer, productivity was higher and so were the yields, but they have decreased. The population has grown quite a lot. We produced a lot of cereals and they were more than enough. But now, all of what we produce is not enough to feed all of us. The problem of decreasing fertility became worse because of population growth. We cannot leave one field fallow anymore while working on another. We must work the same one over and over again, and that is impoverishing the land. We used to produce five tons of maize per hectare, but now, in a good year, we only harvest between three and a half and four tons. I planted this tree barrier in order to stop rainwater from washing my soil away. I had to do this because I noticed the productivity was getting lower, and this technique prevents my field from becoming even poorer. My cotton yields used to be higher. I used to produce up to two tons per hectare. Now, even if I work very hard, I can't get more than one and a half tons per hectare and normally harvest between 800 kilos and a ton. My neighbours have the same problem. There is no family in the village that is using new fields. We are all continuously using the same ones and that is why they are becoming less fertile. I use some techniques to try and increase my land's fertility. For example, I plough the land against the direction of the slope to avoid erosion by rainwater. I have also planted a few bushes at the edges of my fields to prevent soil from being washed away and I also use compost to enrich the field. I don't know any other techniques to improve my soil. If others had techniques or innovations that could help us, I would like to learn and try them in my field. We used to harvest 10 buckets of rice in this field. Now, even if we put a lot of fertilizers, we can't get more than 5 buckets of rice. The soil was much richer before. We didn't need to apply the fertilizers we do today, but if we wouldn't do it, our harvests would be even weaker. We became dependent on mineral fertilizers to get enough rice, but the problem is to get them because they are too expensive for us and we don't know what else to do. It's thanks to all the compost I produce that I can fill up my granaries. I have three larger granaries, like the one behind me, and two smaller ones. 
Everyone has been affected by the loss of fertility, and my solution was to invest a lot of effort in producing large amounts of compost. Here in Mali, we don't have many options. Without agriculture, we can't make a living, so we must take action and do what we can. In recent years, we have noticed an increase in the presence of Ngolo and Red Narakata. The presence of these plants indicate low soil fertility, and we can see that the field is much less fertile than before. One of the problems is that we have cut down a lot of trees, and that has increased erosion. If you have a lot of trees in your field, the rainwater can't run off so quickly and remove your soil. When I realized this, I began to disagree with cutting down more trees in our fields. Around 900 kilometers to the southwest of Sumana Djasa in Ghana, the situation is remarkably similar. Farmers are also struggling with lower yields and decreasing soil fertility. In the community of Sege, to the southwest of the country, for example, farmers have to cope with decreasing yields of their most valuable local crops, such as tomatoes. The way we farm has made our fields poorer. Even when we apply mineral fertilizers and pesticides, the yields are not as good as when I was younger. But I've also noticed that the color of the earth started to change. It used to be darker and now it is lighter and looser than before. The soil of my land was darker, just as this soil in my right hand. With the intensive use of the land, the color changed to a lighter tone, as can be seen by the soil in my left hand. We have now started to introduce cow dung in the field in order to try and reverse the loss of fertility. We would like to work with different institutions and projects that can work with us for longer periods, so that we can find true solutions to our fertility problems. In the next few years, the On for Soil project will collaborate with farmers, researchers and extensionists in the discipline of agronomy, communication and sociology. We are looking forward to bring this expertise of the stakeholders together in this research. The On for Soil project will develop soil management technologies that can easily be adopted in the rest of the African continent. Without good soil, we cannot live. We should plant more trees and care for our soils, because they are our future.